All right, guys, we've got a 2007 American Iron Horse Lone Star Chopper for sale. This bike currently has extremely low 2,025 very well cared for miles. Now this particular bike is equipped with the gloss white base paint job. And then you have black and red tribal accents. Definitely one of the most gorgeous bikes that I've come across. Now in 2007, American Iron Horse equipped these bikes with extremely powerful 1,820 cc, 111 cubic inch SNS V-twin motor. They also equipped the bikes with a six-speed transmission. You have a right side balance drive. Up front you have dual disc brakes. And in the rear you've got a single disc brake. Up front you've got a 21 inch rim. And in the rear you've got an 18 inch rim with a gigantic 280 millimeter tire. Definitely gives the bike that classic chopper look. bike does have some additions. First off, you've got the rear sissy bar. Now what that will allow you to do is slip a bag over it to bring some gear on a road trip. You can also install a backrest pad uh, to facilitate a second passenger. So definitely a nice addition to have. You also have the rear passenger pegs and clevis bar. Again, that will allow you to facilitate a second passenger. You can add a pillion pad or two up seat. The wheels are powder coated in a gloss black. Definitely a very classy addition. Definitely gives the bike a lot of contrast. You've got the American Iron Horse 2 into 1 exhaust system. Looks great and sounds even better. Now the bike is in great shape, um, but I'm going to give it a 9.25 out of a 10 rating. reason being is it is 10 years old and um, has a few minor blemishes, nothing crazy, um, but it does have a few of them. So we'll go ahead and do some close-ups for you. That rear tire has approximately 75% of tread remaining. Definitely is in good shape and should give you some uh, good life. Move to the rear fender. It's in good shape, but it does have a rock chip right here. Looks like a rock has flipped up and caught it. You've also got an additional rock chip right here. It is smaller than the other one. Um, kind of a tough place, but it does happen being on the edge. Other than that, the rear fender is in really good condition. You got one minor little nick right there. Nothing crazy. Definitely in uh, in decent shape. Powder coating is in good shape. No major blemishes should clean up really nice. The uh, 
Uh, solo seat is in good condition. No blemishes to point out there. The exhaust system is in uh, good condition, but it does have some blemishes I want to point out. First off, you have a scuff there and one scuff there as well. It also looks like uh, something that has caught that lower heat shield and caused the chrome to, to chip and peel. So that's definitely a, a little bit more significant. Frame is in decent shape, but it does have some scrapes on the bottom. It's very common for this to occur just because these bikes sit so low to the ground. Oil tank is in good condition, no major blemishes there. Um, I'd like to point out that a few of the bolts on the bike I do have some rust just from the bike getting uh, wet and not being uh, wiped off immediately it could have occurred while being washed but just want to point that out belt guards in decent shape rocker box covers are in good condition no major blemishes there again the bolts on the rocker boxes do have some rust inside again uh, from getting some moisture on them and not being wiped off immediately gas tanks in really good condition no major blemishes that I can point out there maybe a few light surface scratches but definitely nothing crazy Handlebars and hand controls are in decent shape. No major blemishes there. Fort foot controls are in fair condition. Uh, they do have some uh, pitting chrome. Uh, so this is something that could be re-chromed down the road if, if it drove you crazy. Uh, but want to point it out because it is there. Down tubes on the frame are in good shape. You've got a few rock chips on the front of the frame here. Uh, I, I went ahead and touched up a couple of them to make it uh, not stand out as much. Headlights in good condition, no major blemishes there. Triple trees and forks are in good condition. No major blemishes there to point out. Again, you've got a tiny bit of rust marks there and there as well. Front fender's in really good condition. No major uh, blemishes to point out there. Front wheel is in good condition. Uh, could be wiped down a little bit to, to be cleaned up, uh, but should clean up very well. Front tire has approximately 50% of tread remaining. I am assuming this is the original tire up front. Uh, you do have some weather cracking there, and so um, 
should get some life out of it, uh, but the, the weathering cracking, if that's a, a concern, you may want to have the, that replaced. Front pender's in good condition. It looks like we have one light, light, light surface scratch there. Almost worth not mentioning. This brake on the sides in, in good condition. Gas tank on the sides in really good good shape. No major blemishes to point out. motor on the sides in good condition. Uh, one thing I didn't point out is the motor has been painted in between the engine fins, uh, gloss black, so definitely another great thing to have to give the bike some more contrast. Rocker box covers are in good condition, maybe some uh, rust inside those bolts that could be cleaned out. same issue as the other side it does have some pitting chrome uh, but this could be re-chromed fairly easy those bolt off to where you could send it into the chrome shop kickstand is in decent shape probably has a few surface scratches from your foot grabbing on it primary covers in good condition as well no major blemishes there those uh, bolts there have a little bit of rust inside them that could be uh, cleaned up as well a little wire brushing I think should help that oil tank on this side uh, does have a blemish what I'm assuming has happened is someone's had a keychain on there and that has uh, flipped up and dragged there I did touch up the chips, but I want to point that out. Uh, the frame does have some scraping on the bottom. These bikes sit so low to the ground that it's impossible, nearly impossible to, to prevent this. Passenger peg in decent shape. Looks like it's got a little oxidation and rust in there from not being wiped off immediately after getting some moisture on there. License plate holders in decent shape. No major blemishes there. wheel on the sides in good condition. Now one other thing I'd mention is there are some uh, diodes uh, burn out on the front LED uh, running lights and uh, turn signal lights are the same thing but just want to point that out. They still function but just part of them have burn out so. All right let's go ahead and fire the bike up for you.
All right, so there you have it. Definitely shows the bike runs extremely well. Rides even better. Definitely a blast to ride. If you guys do have any additional questions, definitely don't hesitate to give me a phone call. My direct line is 801-564-0629. Again, that's 801-564-0629. Um, if you want to check out more additional information about the bike and the asking price, uh, go down to the listing description on YouTube. Um, another great way to uh, track our inventory is to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also hop over to our direct website, which is www.utahchopper.com. Definitely appreciate your time and uh, also look forward to the possibility of working with you. Thank you so much.